Unraveling, Misstating the Facts, a Guide. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a very interesting phrase that often pops up in English conversations and writing, misstating the facts. Understanding this phrase is crucial for anyone looking to improve their English language skills, especially when it comes to accurately conveying information. So, let's explore what it means, how to use it, and why it's important to recognize its implications. Misstating the facts refers to the act of providing information that is incorrect, false, or misleading. This can happen intentionally or unintentionally. When someone misstates the facts, they are not presenting the true details of a situation. This could be as simple as getting a date wrong in a historical event or as serious as providing incorrect data in a report. To better understand how this phrase is used, let's look at a few examples. In daily conversations, someone might misstate the facts about a story they heard, changing key details without meaning to. In the media, a news outlet may misstate facts about a current event, which can lead to public misunderstanding. In academic and professional settings, misstating facts in research or business can have serious consequences affecting credibility and decision-making. Misstating the facts, especially deliberately, can undermine trust and credibility. It's important for learners to recognize when facts are being misstated to critically evaluate the information they receive. This skill is essential not only in academic and professional environments but also in everyday life. Here are some tips to ensure you're conveying accurate information. Double check your sources. Always verify the information you plan to share. Be clear about uncertainties. If you're unsure about something, make it clear rather than guessing the facts. Practice honesty. If you make a mistake, correct it as soon as possible. Understanding the meaning and implications of misstating the facts is a valuable part of learning English. It helps in communicating more effectively and building trust with others. We hope this video has shed light on this important phrase and why it matters in both language and life. Thanks for watching, and keep practicing your English skills.